everyone, it's Melissa from Welcome to the Woods. Today I'm outside upgrading my exterior faucet and I'm going to show you how easy it is to simply install brand new. You might be wondering why I am out here, nine months pregnant, installing a new faucet. And the reason is twofold. One is that this faucet is leaking. You can see here, and I'm gonna show close up of that here. Even with the hose attached, you can see the problem we're having. And um, instead of calling a plumber to fix this, I'd rather upgrade it with something new for basically the same price as paying a plumber. The leaking has been driving me crazy as my kids often use this faucet when we come home from the beach. I just want to get this switched out before the baby comes and before summer ends. The second reason is that Aquar Water Systems, which is the new exterior faucet I'm going to be installing, is so easy that literally anyone can do it. First thing I'm going to do is cut the caulk and putty around the pipe that goes into the house. Now, if you're more comfortable, you can turn off the water before doing this, but since my water valve is inside and I'm moving inside next, I'm just going to cut this first and then shut off the water. A lot of interior piping situations are kind of hard to access and mine is no exception. I'm going to do my best to show you from the inside what this looks like. I'm down in my basement and behind this panel with the vent, um, we just unscrew it and here we can access behind the faucet. This is where the water comes into our house actually and so that's why the faucet is placed here but it's kind of tight working conditions. You can see the water pipe going up into the faucet and then up in there, I'll give you a close-up shot. You can see it going outside and that's where we're going to disconnect it. I don't see an easy water shutoff valve, so I'm going to have to shut off water to the whole house right now to get this replaced. So here I found my water shut off for the whole house and once I turn that all the way to the right, um, there's no more water coming in. And now I'm going to go to the exterior faucet and I'm going to drain it by opening that valve and letting whatever water is residual in there drip out. Okay, so here we can see my water line coming up and back here you can see the attachment for the exterior faucet. The system I'm going to install already has a email end on it. So all I have to do is use a crescent wrench to unscrew this piece. And it's going to be a little tight in here, but I'll just do my best. You can see with the caulking removed on the outside that the existing faucet is loose and I can wiggle that slightly. Now you'll see a clip of what it looked like turning that crescent wrench from the inside. On the outside, the faucet is twisting in a circle. So not going to lie, this was pretty intense um, and strenuous because the plumber's putty on the inside fittings makes it so that it really requires some elbow grease to turn and I did switch on and off with my hubby trying to get this faucet loose. Now that the old faucet is out of there, I'm going to drill the hole slightly bigger to fit the new Aquar faucet system. They come in all kinds of different lengths. For mine, I'm going with a 12 inch long faucet, which is the longest they come in so that it can meet up with the piping inside the wall. And I'm actually going to need just one extender fitting I'll show later. But um, this is drilling the hole big enough that the new faucet will go through. This is a one inch spade bit. And then I'm going to come in with a one and a half inch hole saw and I'm going to drill just the outside depth a little bit bigger because that's where um, the little cover is going to fit in. So the aqua faucet that I'm installing is 12 inch because I have 6 inch deep walls. You're going to have to measure how deep your walls are and where your fittings line up before ordering your faucet system. All the installation instructions come with, including this handy template, which I didn't use to drill my one and a half inch hole because there was already a hole there, but I am going to line it up on the hole and use the markers for where to drill for screws. There are three screws that hold the aqua faucet cap in place. 
um, and those will just get attached after we thread it onto the piping inside the wall. So this is the fitting that I needed to purchase in order to make my Acor system work with my existing piping. The, uh, you can see it's just two male ends that screw into the faucet and then the female end that's already down there. So you can install an Aqua faucet leading up to PEX or um, copper piping like I have or multiple different plumbing scenarios. So there's installation instructions to make any of them work. And you can see that I'm coating them in plumber's tape. And then also I'm going to be putting on some of this um, plumber's putty, the thread sealant. This is just going to make sure that um, my threads hold tight and that everything is totally waterproof so there's no leaking. You can see that all parts of this fitting that's going to connect my pipes together got the same treatment with tape and putty. And then I'm just going to hand tighten the faucet onto the fitting and we're going to slide it through the hole from the outside. And then I'm going to need a little bit of help from my husband again on the inside just to get things lined up. So we're going to put it through and my husband on the inside of the wall is going to line up that gunked up fitting with the existing piping and get it started. Everything gets tightened with crescent wrenches again. And I'm sorry, I don't have a clip from the inside. The working conditions were just too tight and too dark. Um, but I hope that this is still a helpful tutorial for you if you're going to try and do something similar in the faucet install in your home. So before I tighten the faucet on any further, I need to put on this cover. I picked stainless steel, but this comes in lots of different finishes, and this is what will be visible on the outside of the house. You can see it flips up, and there's this back that kind of bumps it out from the wall and tilts it down at an angle. This works to allow the faucet to back drain every time you take out the attachment that you know actually dispenses the water so when you have the faucet installed i'm just having him tighten and turn the faucet onto the fitting with that cover behind it you got to get the holes all lined up with your pre-drilled holes into the wall and then we're going to screw everything together so here you can see that I'm installing the screws once all my holes are lined up, both the cover behind the faucet, the faucet, and the pre-drilled holes in the wall. And I apologize that my massive ponytail is in the way. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how this works. This has a stainless steel flap that covers up the faucet, so when you flip it up, you can access the hole, which has different attachments for the water to come out. So these different ones you can just put in and then completely remove when you don't want to use it. And they clip in just like so. You get them lined up and you turn them. Then they have a little valve on the outside that opens a spigot. And this one here that I'm using is actually a quick hose connect, but I really like this one the best because of how the water comes out. When you remove it, you can see that the excess water always drains back out of the of the faucet so it's totally freeze proof and you never have to worry about it the other attachment i got is like the regular spigot and this one clips in and the water dispenses just like so so it's kind of up to you how you want to use your faucet but what i really like is that you have the option to just completely remove it and then this everything just looks sleek there's no fittings on the outside to leak or worry about um, and i love too that the quick hose connect we can just leave these attachments on our hose and just clip our hose right into the faucet like so i am super excited about my new aqua outdoor faucet system i think that this quick hose connect is going to be used a lot um, the spigot, I love that I can just put that in when I want to use it and take it off when I don't want, I want my kids messing with it. I love the sleek design and the stainless steel look. And since it's self-draining, I never worry about freezing, even during Minnesota's very harsh winters. I hope this video was helpful for you if you're considering buying one of these Aquor outdoor faucet systems or you need help installing one yourself. You can find a link in the description below if you would like to purchase. And I want to thank Aquor for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again next time on Welcome to the Woods. Bye-bye.